and I'd been involved uh, as manager of the Irish Rugby Legends team uh, and uh, because of that we, we you know, I've enjoyed the, sort of the old touring that a lot of players getting together would do and uh, I just thought you know a lot of players they go away and these uh, get, uh, get to, to play these games on these tours but it's the they enjoy the touring part but maybe not playing the games and something like cycling I think for retired rugby players is uh, is a great sport to get into because uh, normally you might have a, a joint injuries and uh, it's great and you still it's very physical it's a it's quite a tough thing it's like playing a game uh, every day and uh, you know coming off and I certainly feel today <laughs> like I've played a few games so yeah I think all of that just came together and then um, you know it, through Connor and Ronan's contacts we brought in Johnny King and then Michael O'Boyle and it, it all just sort of worked from there. And there's a very serious side to it as well the cancer research is cancer mm -hmm. something that's affected your family in any way? Not directly but I've um, a lot of very good friends whose parents who I'd have known well and uh, siblings have died of cancer so um, you know I, think this is, I, I can't think of anyone mm -hmm. I think that doesn't know someone close relatively close to them it doesn't have to be a family member that has been affected and uh, after you know speaking to Professor John Reynolds and uh, all he does and, and uh, also knowing from behind the scenes the what he gets up to and how much he cares um, about this uh, cancer research and, and the good that it's doing um, you know, I think that, that, that just pushes on that it doesn't have to be a, a family member um, and who knows you know, what's around the corner anyhow. From talking to a lot of the people as well that, have, um, that we've met along the way, there's a huge emotional element to this cycle as well and uh, you know, people have said that it, you know, they're getting counselling without even thinking that they were going to get counselling. Like, have you encountered that, you know, that, those bonds, the sharing of the personal, you know, their tough times, is that something you've come across along the way? It has a bit, um, but I think a lot of uh, people, I think there are, some are out there to prove, some of them um, are you know, cancer survivors. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a case of people that know of people that, that do have uh, cancer currently, and that's why they want to do it, or, or someone who's uh, died of cancer. So I think there's a lot of different um, areas, but uh, you know, I, 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 I don't think anyone goes on and sort of says, you know, well, it's very special for me uh, above, above anyone else because I think everyone else has the same thing and that's why um, I guess people can speak very, very freely about it um, in that, uh, you know, it, it, it is a very much a focal point of, of what's going on uh, mm -hmm. around that. There might be a lot of fun going, a lot of hard yards on the bike, but, you know, there's a, a greater meaning behind it all.